Hello there, my name's Carlo and welcome to another video. Um, today we're going to be looking at a couple of new um, software packs that I've recently purchased. Um, first one being Nuke X. Um, so Nuke X I've not used that much of um, recently um, because, like I said, I've just literally bought it. Um, but I'm looking at um, studying it. I'm looking to study it quite um, heavily. Um, because it's a very, very, very professional pack. Well, um, where did you all use it to composite all their films? So, um, I rest my case really. So, it's um, it's definitely a pro um, application for filmmaking. Um, so, um, I've just lo loaded up Nuke um, with the pack. I've got Nuke and Nuke X, and I've also bought Mari um, 2, which is um, looks absolutely amazing. Again, another new program. Um, that I've purchased that I've never used before but um, this program you would use on the last stage of filmmaking so this is the composition or compositing shall I say um, section of making either a live action film or a 3D animation film and put it all together so let's just throw a video um, into uh, Nuke um, I've never actually done this before so we are going to have a look um, at what we can find here so let's come out of this and then what I'm going to do is just going to shrink it and just pull a video over that I can find uh, on here somewhere somewhere in the background let's have a look what we've got um, ok let's look at this big one me so I'm just going to drag and drop this in and let that load in Okay, let's bring this into position. So Nuke is a very, very, very powerful um, piece of software. So um, obviously, if you are going to buy Nuke, obviously you're going to need about six grand for the whole set, and you're going to need a computer that's going to handle it. So um, do remember that um, if you actually are uh, thinking about buying this. Okay, so what is Nuke? Nuke is basically um, a node-based um, compositing system um, where you're allowed to do whatever you want to a certain uh, film project um, and the way you do it is by connecting those together so for instance there's nothing on the screen here because it's not actually connected to the viewer this 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 little node here is this viewer here but once I sorry connect this little arrow to the viewer bang the actual film um, or whatever is playing um, shows up in the viewer so like I say I'm going to try and um, do a little bit of compositing with this but like I say I've never actually used this before so um, do excuse me if it might go a bit wrong um, as, I, as I've just said I'm, I'm trying to learn this myself um, what to do but you know what you normally do is just right click um, and then you can basically go up and you know sort out your colour correction your gradings, you can add special effects into your production, um, you can take things away, add things. Um, so if I just go to client material, what, what would happen is you'll get another node there. So if I want to put material into this project, I'll be able to put a certain layer or material in there. So let's um, load up the material. I'm just going to see if I can do it this way, see if it works. Like I say, I've, I've never, never really used this properly, so I'm just going on um, guesswork here. So let's drop this into here. And this is a still image on a project I'm working on. And let's just connect that node to there, see what happens. Right, let's connect this to here. Right. See what I mean? It's really sort of. Yeah. I'm not to see what I'm doing. So let's connect that to the wall. And let's connect that to... You've got to make sure you sort of connect it to the right thing. And film that. And so what it's done is put the film there. And then, so let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. And let's bring this into our view. So, maybe 
TV, see what happens when we drop this into the pool. There's some sort of that. No. Uh, so basically it's just like node building. Um, but like I say, I'm, you know, I'm really new to this, so um, obviously um, it's something I'm not used to using, so it's something that um, I will study um, and get into quite heavily. Um, it's pretty much Yeah, it's like a lot, a lot of fun, absolute lot of fun uh, to use. So let's see if we can do something to this uh, video color transition. So as soon as you open something up, it's, I think it's rendering now. As soon as you open something up, then you'll get all these little um, icons pop up, and then you can just move up and down the intensity, your angles. Just basically colour correct to your, your, your feature. Read from fire. So like I say, it's so blooming intense this program, it's unreal. But we will get used to node building and stuff like that. But obviously it's a case of knowing how all these sort of nodes sort of pair up. I do know you can sort of go into luminance, turn it black and white. Um, we've got matte overlay, RGB, which is standard. Um, you can also go to your alpha and turn it off, and then maybe bring this into this one here, or maybe bring take that one off. But what I do is I'll open up a little video in a sec. Um, I'll pause it, open up a video, and show the sort of things you can. Um, do with Nuke. Um, so it's just a little show reel that I downloaded, um, just to give you a rough idea um, of what can be done. So I'm just going to pause it for a sec, and I'm going to get the video for you guys. Okay, so here's a little video of what Nuke can actually do, um, so you can sort of get a rough idea of what what we're looking at here. So I'll just play this little short video for you guys. Enjoy.
yeah so there you go that is Luke so pretty awesome stuff uh, very pro stuff uh, so I'm going to really look forward to sort of you know just playing around with this and just think, figuring out certain things that you can actually do with it um, which is going to be a hell of a lot of good fun so um, stay tuned um, for some tutorials um, obviously there might be a couple of tutorials on Nuke um, on YouTube um, but obviously this is my actual first look at um, Nuke um, for myself and obviously I just wanted to take you through the stages of what I find that I'm going to be able to learn and what I'm going to be able to pass on as I learn it so yeah um, what I'll do is I'll just pause the video again and what I'm going to do is just going to open up Maori um, and quickly show you that as well um, again same as this never used Maori before I do know it's a pro painting package um, which is part of the foundry um, also very good in this I'll just tell you it's got um camera tracker built into it as well somewhere um, let's see if I can find it um, I had it the other day and I was having a little look no, so you can merge your certain things together, transform, uh, what's this, comes to 3D, tracker, there we go, so if you click on tracker, it comes with a built-in um, tra tracker, um, the same tracker that you would get for After Effects by the Foundry, they've actually built into this, but I think this one's a lot more booming advanced than um, the one that you get uh, for After Effects, so loads and loads of possibilities loads and thick loads of things to do um, within this and as you move it around obviously this can be absolutely full up um, with bits and pieces you've got a dope sheet curve ed curve, curve editor so it's, it's 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 limitless what you can do with this it is absolutely mind-blowing so i'm going to look forward to learning this and taking you guys on a bit of a journey on what i actually learn um, while using Nuke, so stay tuned. I, I won't go anywhere. I'll just pause the video and I'll open up Maori and you can, or Maori, shall I say, and you can have a quick look at that as well. So I'll just pause the video. Okay, so we're in a Maori 2.5 v2. Um, like I said, never actually used bef this before ever. Um, so um, I'm going to have to learn the concept of this. I mean, these videos are just showing you the new things that I've just got, some new software that I've got. Um, that are going to be quite exciting um, to, to actually use but whatever you create in Mari obviously you can export straight over to Nuke or launch in Nuke straight away so everything's sort of like connected um, up together so um, I suppose I'll just click on new and then you set all your settings here um, scale, colour, the templates what you're importing um, bits and pieces like that. I've got no models created so obviously there's going to be nothing in this um, so it's not going to be a detailed um, obviously look at Mari because um, obviously like I keep saying this is very very new to me um, but look it's all good fun um, and it's going to be actually great fun learning how to use it all um, so yeah, like I say, stay tuned for some more exciting videos. Um, this is not very exciting, but at the end of the day, it's something better than nothing, I suppose. Um, and more looks at, more look, detailed look at Nuke once I sort of start sussing it all out. Um, and then we can sort of go from there. So yeah, please rate this video, give it a thumbs up, and that'd be great. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.